Here we go, Fly Like a Fly, part four. This time it's in the garage. Hey there, it's Mark. Thank you for joining me today. This track is ready to be validated, so I'll just talk about the features as we go along. This track has a rocket start going right down the middle, launching right into one of the key features of the Fly Like a Fly tracks, besides the alternating orange and blue track pieces. You launch through the air and land on a wall, because you're a fly. Plus, you can zip around on the ceiling. One feature you will not see on my Fly Like a Fly tracks is modules. You know, track modules like the dinosaur, like the snake. Nah, I'm not going to use those. Just standard track pieces so everybody can play. That doesn't mean we're not having typical stunts. There you go. A little flip over. Oh, by the way, keep your eyes open. We're going to go right through the ivy. Did you see it? Yeah, there's vegetation growing on this wall. It's only in this one area in the garage. I can't think of it being... Oh, no, you know what? It's in the basement. They have, like, palms. But you can't go through them like that. They have hitboxes and you crash. Not these. You can drive right through them. Pretty cool, huh? There's several spots. We're going to hit them all. I mean, not just right here. Later on in the track, on different walls, you get to do it again. I have green speed up strips on the right because you need to stay on the right. There's a ladder and you might run into it unless you're on the right. So fly like a fly, alternating orange and blue track, flying through the air, landing on walls, uh, walking on the ceiling. Oh yeah, that uh, there was a swirly back there. So you know flies like to go around in circles. So I pass that, you've seen it. And yeah, you can shortcut it. I designed it that way on purpose. Here we go, another jump. I'm glad I picked this theme to do in this room because I've never done this. I never built a track going through the vines like this or the leaves, whatever you call them. So for me, it's very satisfying. It's another experience with the game. As far as the track building modules, I originally didn't want to use them because I didn't think it fit with the theme, right? Because the theme is you're a fly, you're flying around. But now I realize there's a bonus feature. Not everybody buys every season pass or buys all that stuff so they don't get to play every track so with this series I just use basic track parts this way everybody can play that being said I max out my points I used all of them except for a few I even had lights in the sidewalls of the magnetic track but I needed the points so that means I had to remove the lights because I wanted to put like boosters and charge up strips in certain areas the track needed a little help because it was a little slow in certain sections we want to keep it moving, right? By the way, did you see the finish line? We passed it. We went right by it. Did you see it? What did you think about flying into the box? Was that kind of exciting? I didn't even realize the box was there until I seen it on somebody else's track. Besides, the finish line was in that box or crate, whatever you want to call it. I think it's a crate. We'll get a good look at it because we're coming up on it right now. There it is. Yeah, see, it's a crate. You can see the wood slats. And look on the left, that's the track that you launched off of. At the start, you went right into that hole. The finish line was... It was right there, the whole time. I think you need to save a boost and boost straight down to get to the finish line. If not, you fly over and then you just drive around. However, if you run into the sign, it's going to make you reset. You can drive around in here. Just don't touch the finish line in the back. Don't touch the piece of track. Don't touch the entrance to that piece of track. You know the one you landed on first. And then you can just drive up and exit. If you're in multiplayer, everybody's going to pile up in that corner, remember? Uh, everybody's going to pile up over there. The track is validated. Now we could head to the community tracks. It'll be right there. If you want to search and find this track, just put Fly 4. One word, Fly 4. Or Fly 3, Fly 2, Fly 1. There'll probably be a Fly 5 eventually. I should get some decent maps. I did not use that much uh, invisible track. Well, we knew this one wasn't going to be good because the finish line's in the crate. Awesome. We went through the foliage. Are we going to get more? No, I see it down there on the left, though. Eh, this shot was kind of boring. Here we go. This livery. I have that information in the description.
I created this on my PS4. If you are on a compatible crossplay system, you could play it as well. If you like it, please give it a like. Thanks for watching. Happy building and happy racing. Bye bye.